What's up, everybody? It is just cracking packs today. We have a Pokemon Center Brilliant Stars ETB that we'll be opening up today. Should be fun. Uh, it's another session of booze and packs night. So tonight I have South Boston Irish Whiskey by Grand Ten Distilling. Uh, weirdest whiskey I've ever had, not gonna lie, because if you look, it is very clear, so my guess is it has not been aged very well. Uh, it does kind of taste a little bit sugary, so my guess is they just kind of threw the sugars in and did it. But it is very tasty, has a nice vanilla taste to it. Uh, so if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive whiskey, I think this was maybe $30. And something smooth, uh, as well as kind of unique. Uh, definitely try it out. It is surprisingly smooth for how light it is. And for how little it's probably been aged. I don't think it actually says it's been aged at all. But as you can see, I'm going to move this over a little bit. As you can see, it is 40 proof. Uh, and it was bottled in South Boston. So any of my fellow mass holes, definitely check it out. Anyway. All right, let's get to the booster box. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a good night. Oh. Oh no, Articuno, you fell. Fix that, awesome. All right, let's see if I can do this without fall again. Uh, so hopefully you guys have tuned in to see my previous two videos, one on the Pokemon Center uh, Fusion Strike ETB, as well as the Brilliant Stars Booster Box. But um, as I was talking about, um, you know, if you're new to the channel or if you're new to, to collecting Pokemon, uh, there are these elite trainer boxes that are actually going to give you everything you need to start collecting. So, for example, a lot of the times they will come with these items here. You'll see they come with a certain amount of packs. They'll come with uh, dividers um, as well as uh, sleeves and some dice and stuff like that. Basically stuff to get you going uh, to either play or collect Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Center ends up selling these exclusive versions of these. So these are actually gonna be different from the ones that you actually will see in the, um, that you'll actually see in the stores. These you can only get off of the um, Pokemon Center website, which I believe they actually are back in stock. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Typically these Pokemon Center one, exclusive ones will come with uh, at least two extra packs. Uh, for example, the exclusive celebrations version came with a ton of extra packs it was it was a blast I, I don't remember how many exactly but it was a huge huge etb definitely worth it uh but no, most of the standard exclusive ones will come with two extra packs as well as some type of additional perk so i think in these ones sorry let me fix that there we go uh for example i believe it'll come with this uh extra uh deck box as well as I believe the packs are a different color. Uh, but why don't we actually open this up fully and we'll check it out. All right, so I just removed the wrapping on these, so let's actually get a hold of this. So this is the actual original color here, if you can see it, I'll move it a little bit further the back. Uh, so it's got gold trimming and a fully white um, white box. So that'll be the ones you'll see in the um, in the stores. It's definitely a sleek looking box, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, as always, we get our list of, you get your card list. Uh, I am hoping to hunt for some of these character rares. I'm pretty excited about this because um, Brilliant Stars has turned out to have pretty good pull rates as well as since those character rares are there, you get uh, two chances per pack to be able to get, um, to be able to get hit. So that's pretty exciting. All right. Oh, look at that. That is that is pretty unique. Uh, I haven't seen a deck box in any of these exclusive ones before. So here's our deck box. Um, so for those of you who play, um, it's kind of cool. You can also probably keep some sleeve rares in there too if you're looking for um, to maximize storage. All right, let's get this out of there. As always, we get our 10 packs here, um, which is pretty exciting. Although. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, actually. Uh, this is technically a... Uh... Oh, there it is. Sorry, it was, it was crammed in. There we go. It was a little flattened in there. Uh, false alarm. I thought I 
thought it was an error box. Uh, but anyway, all right, we got our poison and burn counters. Um, as you can see, sometimes I lose count and you know, can't count well. Uh, but I swear I can math, guys. We got our awesome dividers. These are probably the coolest dividers I've seen so far. Um, it's got that nice white and gold trim. Very clean, sleek looking. We get our uh, we get our energy packs again. I try not to open these just because then I have a bunch of extra cards that I have to try to store uh, loose cards. So I might as well keep them sealed and then eventually I'll probably sell them to some card shop. But we'll see. And then we get these really nice looking sleeves. Pretty excited about those. Um course uh you get your rule book which i highly recommend if you, whether you are collecting or you are actually learning to look the game actually you want to learn to play the game you should definitely look out look out the rule, new rules for each set sorry i'm bumbling my words at the moment but you definitely want to try to look through this and at least glance over any of the new rules that might be in this because that will determine if there's anything new for example this one has new v stars which i believe are specific new moves exclusive to those specific cards and i believe you need a certain v-star energy which i'm sure will pop up in this that i'll point out later um and so these are supposed to be gold and they are not so the so you got some weird brown looking stuff but then if you actually look pretty close here you actually see in the clear in the clear die you can actually see some gold flex in there. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, so not as cool as the Fusion Strike ones, in my opinion, but they're still pretty cool. Um, we get our code card, which I try to turn in for money uh, at local card shops um, because the online game is pretty popular. We get our V-Star counter, which is kind of cool. And oh, there it is. Get our metallic-looking coin of Arceus. That's always fun. All right. Okay, I just put away all of the extra stuff um, just to get it out of the way and save some time here. I know you got, your time is valuable, so just wanted to uh, shorten up the video a little bit. Um, cheers. Yeah, guys, make sure uh, if, I mean, of course, if you do, if you're old enough to drink, of course, and you are um, in the drinking mood, feel free to drink while you're watching this. Uh, maybe it'll help with the... Um, Help with the atmosphere, you know, make it feel like you're there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's start. Um, in the comments below, why don't you uh, let me know what your chase cards are. Personally, I'm chasing after those Arceuses. I think they are awesome. Charizard, of course, is always a fun card to chase afterward, after, but uh, I'm really hunting for those Arceus cards. I think that they look fantastic, especially that Altart. I am an Altart fan, if you haven't been able to tell from my past videos. All right, we got our Darkness Energy. Uh, Patricia, Sigalith, Floatzel, Baltoy, Chimchar, Castform, Golet, Impidimp, Reverse Hollow Collapse Stadium. Oh, there we go. Hit first hit right off the bat. Kindler Full Art. That is awesome. And you know what's crazy? That came in our last card set. That was an error card. That is awesome. Huge hit. Um, I am... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am borderline speechless here. Uh, granted, I almost never shut up, but um, I am pretty speechless here. That is unbelievable. I can't believe we got that right off the, way off the bat. Hopefully, that's a sign of good things to come. We won't go through a dry spell, but uh, as always, I do like to, um, for any of my Vs or higher, I definitely do like to top load them um, just so I can keep them nice. Put this over here so everyone can look at it. All right, let's continue. Oh, um, can't forget, always sleeve your reverse hollows. Uh, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I do just because they are a little bit more. Um, they they do sell for a little bit more than the base set, so you might as well keep them looking nice if you, uh, if you can. All right, let's move on to the second pack. Let's see what we can get here. All right. One, two, three, four to the front. Leaf Energy. Ultra Ball. Kindler. <laughs> we just got the full art. Patricia. Halucha. Lactabuzz. Bidoof. Clefairy. Grimer. Reverse Hollow Professor's Research. And a non hall rare Luxray. So, nothing on that one. But that's okay. Um, 
Typically the hit rates in ETBs aren't super duper high. Uh, you're pretty much par for the course if you get one to two. However, I've heard that the Brilliant Stars do tend to have a little bit more because you do have that character rare that kind of helps boost those odds a little bit. So I think if we can get three hits, I think that we'll be doing and we'll be in good shape. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. All right, we got Lightning Energy. Hit on top. Luxio. Choice Belt. The Denny. Clink. Snow Run. Nose Pass. Axu. Reverse Hollow Double Turbo Energy. And a Hollow Rare Professor's Research. So that was also in a white coat here, which is weird. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, maybe because it's an ETB, they didn't really care about having to put whiter the uh, black code trim on in here um, because you're not going to be able to really take them apart. You can always weigh them, I guess, and try to sell which one, whichever ones you're looking for. Oh, that's all over here. That's reverse all. Um, so maybe they're just kind of being lazy. This could be just an this could be just an error set. Um, past ones it hasn't been like that, so um, that's interesting. I'll put this up here. So that everyone can marvel at my amazing hollow rare that came out of rare pack. Um, it's not actually amazing rare, but just looks cool, I guess. Um, still think Professor Oaks, uh, Professor's Research one looks better, but oh well. All right, on to the next pack. One, two, three for the front. Ah, there it is. So here is our first um, V-Star Energy placeholder or something like that, kind of. Basically, you can use this to enter it into the V-Star um, state for the cards, I guess. I'm not huge into the rules. Like, I don't know exactly understand the rules, but I, I believe that's what it's used for. Um, card on. Magma Basin. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Hold that there. Uh, hit my top. Throw, cast form, trap pinch, gibble, weasel, verse hollow, drugjagon, I always got that name wrong, and a non hollow rare, wormadam. Drugjagon? Is that what it's called? Uh, always, I always get this one wrong. Um,. Uh, maybe you guys can actually comment this below. Does the Pokemon site actually have like a um, how to say kind of thing? Like how to sound it out? Uh, be interesting if they did. Because, uh, I mean, we've seen that with so many different cards over the, over the past. I mean, the first one that comes to mind is you have people saying Rattata and Rattata. Um, so, tomato, tomato. But, uh, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if there's actually anything that... Um, if there's anything out there that actually tells you how the official, um, how to officially say the names, but anyway, Fighting Energy, Ultra Ball, Crawdot, Magma Basin, Grimer, Execute, Farfetched, Duskull, Cub Chew, Reverse Hollow Cynthia's Ambition, and a non hall Rare Star Raptor. So, nothing in this one. We're entering into a bit of a dry spell, but that's okay. I'm sure something will pop up soon. Uh, let's see, I'm about halfway. Yes, it looks like we are about halfway through this box, so of course, got to take a quick uh, rehydration break. Mm. All right, back to it. One, two, three, four to the front. We got Fire, Acerola's Premonition, Claydol, Collapse Stadium, Clink, Sneasel, Turtwig, Piplup, Shroomish. Wow, there we go. Our second trainer art of the night. We got a Gloria trainer full art. That's awesome. And a non hollow rare Flygon. That's a nice looking card right there. All right. I always love those trainer full arts. Um, 
course, I love the alt arts way more, but I will never turn down a, a, a full art trainer. Um, but make sure that the there we go. All right, put this here. So so far, all of our all of our hits have been uh, they've been trainer arts, which is interesting. Let's keep this going. One, two, three, four of the front. We got Psychic Energy, Claydol, Tropius, Vibrava, Gibble, Chimico, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Sneasel, Reverse Hollow Crawdont, and a non haul rare Clink Clang. So nothing in this one. We have three packs left. Uh, One, two, three, four the front. We got Steel Energy, Friends of Galar, Executor, Pot Helmet, Riolu, Magmar, Infidim, Axu, Spiritomb, Reverse Hollow Dusclops, and a Gramble V. Nice. All right. So we have officially four hits. So we, I think we are doing pretty well so far. Um, although that said, that means that the odds of us having anything in these next two packs are probably low. But at this point, everything's gravy. We officially, I think we're pretty much ahead of the uh, original count. That I thought that we would have. Um, thought the average was basically like three on this, so we are on the upper end. Let's see if we can keep that magic going, though. I really want one of those one of those uh, alt hearts. We'll, let's see if we can get one here. Or maybe a, I'll take a trainer gallery art too. That'd be cool. Alright, we got Wada, Weevil, Starmie, Fresh Water Set, Perloin, Shroomish, Piplup, Trapinch, Turtwig. There it is! Alright, after we just said, after we just asked for a character art, we got the artillery trainer art with the Fisherman. That's cool, that's a beautiful looking card. And we got a double hit out of this with a B barrel. That is cool. Nice. I think this might actually be my first double hit pack. I might have had one before. I can't remember. Um, my memory is not what it used to be, which is kind of sad because I'm only in my late twenties, so that doesn't bear doesn't bear well for me. But that's all right. This was actually one of my low key hunt cards. Octuri is such a cool, is such a cool Pokemon. So um, I'm still actually hunting for that shiny gold Octillery. I believe that was. I don't think that was Chilling Rain. I, I want to say that was either Battle Styles or Evolving Skies. Could be wrong. Uh, you know, please post in the comments if you know which one the uh, shiny Octillery is in. Um, so I'm still trying. That's still kind of a hunt card. I can't remember which one it is. All right, so guys, we officially have six six hits out of this. So this is this is you know this this box, for all intents and purposes, is a success. We got one pack left. Left. Let's see if we can keep up our magic here with some last pack magic. We did get last pack magic last time, um, in our last ETB that we opened. Uh, so let's see if we can keep that going here. All right, we got darkness energy. Team Yells Cheer, Fracture, Weevil, Cheruby, Clefairy, Carablast, Staryu, Burmy, Reverse Hollow Trap Pinch, and a non hollow Rare Tornadus. So no last pack magic. Uh, so sad, but 
we did happen to get six hits out of this. So four real hits, or so four you know, nice hits, and then two hollow rares. Um, so let me actually, I also want to check out here and see if there are any rare reverse hollows as well, because technically I consider those technically hits those are unofficial in this so um so they don't actually count so i don't count them towards the official hit count but uh, i do like to see those reverse hollows so we did get that reverse hollow professions research we did get that uh drew G drew Degon. um an, a hollow rare professors research to to match the the barrel we got that Octillery character art, which is awesome. This is probably my one of my favorite cards that I've got so far. We got the Kindler character full art. Grand Bull V. And the Gloria Trainer Full Art. So this was this was a success, guys. Um I actually, I, I really, actually really liked this ETB. This is probably the first time I've actually enjoyed myself on a non-special um, set ETB. Um, so this may be the, yeah. You know, it looks like Brilliant Stars may be the exception to the rule. Um, this is only one ETB, but I'm for sure going to be ordering another one. I don't want to open this one, of course. This is my sealed baby. Um, I want to keep it sealed and nice. So I'm going to order another one to go with it to open uh but yeah i might be doing it again um and based off of these results it may not be you know you can also look for the standard ones in uh in stores as well uh the hits the hit rate on this is as far as i know awesome so definitely definitely check out these um definitely check out the set it's a lot of fun there's a lot of cool arts to get um and I think this one definitely has, uh, it's a little, it's a little young, you know, it's a little new, but I think this set definitely has the, uh, has a chance and the potential to become the best set in this modern set, in this modern, um, era. Um, and what I mean by modern era is I don't mean Sun and Moon, I mean Sword and Shield as a full, as a full era, um. So definitely check out the set if you haven't already. Look in your local stores, look online. Uh, check out PokemonCenter.com. There should still be at least sleeve boosters on here. Um, and hopefully you get some hits and happy hunting. Thanks, guys. As always, uh, stay tuned for more. Um, as of right now, I can't think of what we're going to be opening next, but I believe I do have a Pikachu V Union box coming in. Uh, just for fun, um, I managed to find uh, a replacement once we're going to open up one of those. With that, I might load that up on here. Um, but stay tuned for more. I will post updates on my TikTok. If you guys don't know it, uh, check out Just Cracking Packs. No spaces on TikTok. We also have an Instagram as well. You can check that one out. Um, I've been a little bit lazy on loading stuff on there, so I'm going to get back into that. But Definitely like, subscribe if you like the content. Send me comments if you have any um, any compliments, concerns, uh, critiques, complaints. Hopefully there's no complaints, but uh, I still like to hear them. So uh, load them up. If you have anything you do want to talk about, definitely uh, direct message me on my Instagram, which is the same thing on TikTok. Just Crack and Packs. No spaces. Um, and look for the Japanese light Dragonite as my, as my, um, picture. You should be able to find that on there. Um, so good luck guys. Happy hunting and stay tuned for more. Thanks.